What's up everybody? Today we are going to talk about Sauron and what I consider to be the best build or at least a very competitive build for him. So stick around. Let's get it. Welcome back to CO Gaming. We are going to talk about Sauron. He is a really good evil faction T3 commander. And I'm going to give you what I consider to be the best build or a very competitive build for this commander. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this. The first thing you need to know that this is a madness build. Uh, madness is is so overpowered in this game it just it causes so much havoc when it comes to enemy commanders when when you're in a pvp situation so the first thing you should put points into is your respect zero your baseline tree for sauron the deceiver uh damage received plus 12 percent to all enemy units be affected by your focus stat after you put your 15 points into that, we're going to go over to Ring of Terror uh, against your commander and units to 70% chance to inflict madness. After you put those 7 points there, we're going to go up here and then against enemy subject to madness damage received plus 40%. As you can tell, this, like I said, this is your madness build. Uh, like anything that is inflicted with madness is going to take so much damage just from that tree initially so after you have your points put in there we're going to go over here to gorthar and put your 15 points in here it just increases your focus damage uh, plus gives you that extra focus after you have your 15 points there come up here and soul siphon we will put your seven points there Against two enemy units, still 60% focus damage. And also, two allied units recover 60% HP. After you put your seven points there, come down here, put seven points into overload. Uh, three enemy units, damage dealt 5%, but receives 34% focus damage, continuous over each round. Uh, also carries the pursuit effect and anybody that knows anything about this game with pursuit it in ignores your targets invasion so anytime uh, you're fighting a commander that has evasion it's like it's going to ignore that so say a commander is running you know uh, what's what's the gear piece I'm trying to think of here? It's one of the chess pieces that the first three instances right there. Three allied units, 40% chance to invade the first instance of damage. This is not maxed out, but so that's going to be higher. So it is going to ignore that stat line from the start. So that that's pretty huge when it comes to this build. Uh, those are... Your two baseline skill trees that you're going to want to go into uh, is Respect 3 to get here. So uh, keep that in mind. Any points you have left, uh, you, you can go over here and you can go into the enemy line. Uh, it's it's not a bad tree. It's just it is Respect 5, so I'm going to like try not to include that in this video. But what I would do is I'd go Lord of Gifts and put some in there it's just going to help you raise your base stats from equipment which is ultimately going to help your focus be higher in the long run uh, so what i did with the uh, skill points that i have that i put four points into that to get up to eight percent and then i went ahead and just dropped an extra point here to kind of give me uh black arts gives me an extra hit in round two uh, just kind of what you want to do if you have the same amount of points i have you can put five points in the lord of gifts or you could put more just depending on how many points that you end up with um uh, can't really go wrong either way uh i'll probably change it up sometime next season once i get him leveled up and probably just put all those points in lord of gifts either way 
so but that's that is the build as far as you know what i do uh I found with with many fights this season, I don't have a lot of reports that I can go back and show since I am so new to doing the YouTube thing. Uh, but I do have a few reports I can show you here in a few minutes. Uh, as far as gear goes, uh, the primary piece of gear that you you probably can use uh, would be anything that increases your focus damage or anything that helps inflict madness as we've seen uh anytime madness has been inflicted on an enemy commander or a enemy unit it's going to up your damage you get so much extra damage and with that uh, i have chosen a route to inflict you know more focus damage compared to that because you get a pretty good madness rate anyway with 75 percent uh, so either way, but your primary stat is focus. Uh, anything that gives you more focus is going to be better. Uh, as you can tell here, it's pretty even. Uh, running Carver gives me 24 focus and then does you know focus, extra focus damage down here. Uh, chest piece, I will actually change this uh, next season. I have something better. As you can see here, like I have a gold piece that I... I usually run on my Gandalf the White that gives me extra focus up to five stacks. So, like, that's something to keep in mind of something you can run. Uh, like I said, on my helmet, I go with that extra focus damage, but the bone mass that gives you a 100% chance to inflict madness when it's maxed out is, is probably the best helmet in the game for Sauron. And then, as... To most of my commanders, I usually run a pocket item that heals. Um, it's it's personal preference. Forty five focus is what I look at, and then that every two rounds heal is is always a plus for for all allies. So can't really go wrong with that. Could also use something damage if you want to. Just just whatever you would you would like to do. This is just what I personally uh, run myself. Uh, as far as troop troops go uh this is kind of up for debate really uh i don't i don't necessarily say this is the best build for troops i've seen many different options out there uh i do some do some fights i've kind of changed up but I, I really like this i do know we are going into our season three here in a few days and i will be running champions on my sauron uh since we are playing one of the new factions so but you you can't really go wrong with what i'm doing here halberdiers uh definitely a plus for mounted units anytime you're fighting anything with mounted units we all know how strong mounted units are in this game for the most part so can't really go wrong there uh, i also run crushers crushers are really good uh, you know, as you can tell, prioritizes the lowest attack, so gets rid of some units pretty quick. And then I run Raiders. Once again, another one of those mounted units. This season in particular, we have fought a lot of mounted units, so it's it's worked out really well. Uh, as I said, you, you can't really go wrong. Uh, it's, it's just, it all depends on what you're fighting. As of anything in this game, as far as PvP goes, like you're going to make adjustments along the way while you're fighting different factions because they're all going to run something different. We all have different T4s. So just make those adjustments and you're not going to have any issues along the, along those lines. Uh, I can show you a few reports that I had got the other day, uh, yesterday to be exact, had a few hits, but as you can, as you see here, got a Gandalf the Grey, was not full, uh, I think this might have been the second hit, but even with, you know, that many troops, like I took hardly any damage and then pulled a draw, that should not have been a draw by any means, mind you, against the 50 Boromir. And then, of course, finish that Boromir off. Um, not for sure. I'm pretty sure that was the only actual hit chest. That's the only actual hits that I'd got. 
with my Sauron yesterday, but yeah, you know, I mean it's uh, well. There's this one too, uh, against a Aragorn, full T4 Airborne troops running Guardians, and then some Bow Knights. Um, pretty solid, solid hit there. Like can't really argue against fighting a pretty good Aragorn. So yeah, I mean it's it's a really good build like that madness and when it triggers it uh causes you to do a ton of damage so if you like the video hit the like button as always subscribe to my channel until next time see you out